All right, let's talk about knowledge. Knowledge of the role that you're applying for for the interview process. Now, knowledge, again, is one of the key building blocks of job readiness here. It's really important to go into a role having some fundamental knowledge of the role you're applying for. Seems like an obvious thing to say out loud, but you'd be surprised how many people show up to an interview and don't even know much about the role they're applying for. It's gonna show in the interview process, and I promise you, you're not gonna make it very far in that interview process, let alone get the job that you want. So how do we demonstrate knowledge? Well, you've got to know the fundamentals here, right? And this is really just the building blocks of the role that you're applying for. Number one is understanding what is the main objective of this role. So big picture, if you had to boil this entire role down into a single sentence to tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, your friend, what you're applying for, what is that objective? If you're in sales, it might be closing deals right? Bringing in revenue. That's your objective. If you're in product, it might be designing the product. If you're an engineer, it might be building the product. You've got to understand what is the objective of your role. Then we can go a little bit deeper and understand what are the day-to-day tasks of that role, right? What are you doing day in, day out? Again, if you're in sales, it's going out and finding new customers, talking to those customers and selling them. If you're in product or engineering, it's going out there and doing customer discovery, starting to design your product, building your product, and then taking it to market. So understanding the day-to-day tasks of the role are really important after we know that main objective, because then we can go deeper and we can have a discussion with the interviewer or anybody we're talking to about what that role looks like. And then lastly, we kind of want to zoom out and think about where does the career path of this role lead, right? If we are three to five years down the road, what type of roles might we have after coming through the job that we're applying for? And this is really important because during the interview process, you're going to want to talk a little bit more long term at certain points of the interview process and talk about your career trajectory and ask questions about your career trajectory with that company. So these are the three fundamentals. And again, really important to know this before you go into the interview process. It may seem so simple, but you'd be shocked at how many people show up to an interview not knowing these three things. So how do we learn these fundamentals, right? Where do we get this knowledge? Because they're not teaching this in college. I I, I know that. And and it's really hard to know some of this without doing the role. So the first place that you should check out is the job description. You know, a good job description will outline the objective and some of the day-to-day responsibilities. Now, it's not going to tell you everything, but it's going to give you at least a starting point to understand, okay, what might I be doing? The second place to check out is Google or YouTube right? Type in the job title you're looking at plus fundamentals or job title plus objective or job title plus day to day, right? You can start to Google and YouTube and learn more about this role. You're going to get lots of articles, lots of videos. You're going to have to sort through probably a bunch of crappy ones along the way to find out some information, but definitely a good place to look. You can also chat with friends. You can chat with family that might have some perspective on the job you're looking at. And then one of the one of the you know uh, one of the really interesting ones here is actually using LinkedIn. So what you can do is go on LinkedIn, type in the job title that you're looking for, and you're going to get thousands and thousands of people across the country that have the job that you are going after. And what I would do is start messaging those folks, start asking them for 15 minutes to pick their brain on the role. Right? You can tell them that hey, I'm trying to break into this career path. I'm really excited. I would love to just pick your brain on kind of the fundamentals of this role or what you think I should know going into the interview process. And a lot of people are going to take you up on that and be happy to chat for free, right? People people want to help other people. Um, if you're not getting any, getting any bites, you could also offer a $5, you know, Starbucks gift card. Uh, and that might go a long way to helping you understand the role. And then lastly here, quick plug for Ramped, of course, we are constantly building out new materials and different career pathways to help you learn these fundamentals. That's our whole goal here at Ramped is help you get trained up, skilled up prior to the interview process. So check back to Ramped often on different career pathways to check out. All right. So once we know the fundamentals, how do we actually commit this to knowledge, right? It's one thing to do some research and understand the basics of the role, but how do we turn that into pure knowledge? Well, we've got to practice it, right? We've got to write down our answers here. We've got to talk about it out loud and we've got to explain it to people. And this is what you're going to be asked to do during the interview process. When you go into the interview, they're going to ask you questions. You're going to be talking with them. You're going to have to explain it. You're going to have to ask them questions to show that you've got this knowledge. So better to practice that prior to the interview process. What you can do to start is take all of your notes and consolidate them down into these three questions. Write out your answers for each one of these questions. See how much you know. 
Then talk about it out loud. Talk about it to a friend. Talk about it to a family member. Start to explain the role to others around you in a safe environment and see how much you know. They're going to ask you questions. Those questions might stump you. That's okay. Write their questions down. Go back, do some more research, come back to them and explain it again. And the more you do that, the more comfortable you'll start to get in the role, the more excited you'll get about this role. And then when you get to the interview process, it'll be a breeze, right? You'll be having a great conversation with the interviewer. You'll be explaining the role to them. They'll be explaining it to you. You'll be able to go into these deeper conversations about the role. And that's going to make you a better candidate.